How to edit shipping plan on Amazon? I have just got this questions many times in past that many of the people create their shipping plan, enter their shipping details of the SKU they want to send like their box dimension, box weight and number of unit in one box and then later they realize that they have just put some information wrong like they have just put some wrong configuration of cartons like for example they are actually having 5 units in one carton and they have mistakenly put 10 units. So if you put wrong information while creating your shipping plan then you can just get trouble in future when your inventory will be checked into Amazon FBA warehouse. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually edit your Amazon FBA shipping plan after creating to correct those mistakes which you have done. So you can just get your inventory check in very smoothly into Amazon FBA warehouse in the future and you don't have to face any problem. So all the information you will get step by step in this video. So keep on watching this video till the end because that's going to be super helpful for you. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year, and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my Amazon Seller Central right now and from here, I need to click on this tab and go on Inventory and click on Shipments. So by doing that, I'll be able to see all of those shipments which I have created in past or in recently. So you can see there, I have multiple shipments here and all of those shipments are closed because all of those shipments are old and I already received all of those units in Amazon when I created them. But for now, I can see only this one shipment which is not closed and the status is receiving. That means this shipment is receiving like my supplier has sent the inventory, Amazon has received the inventory and right now Amazon is receiving and setting my inventory into Amazon FB warehouse shelves. So at this point we need to understand that what are the statuses of this shipment. Like either your shipment will be in working, receiving, in transit or closed. So here you can see that none of the shipment is in working or in transit. They are only closed or receiving. So in this case, we cannot make any changes into a shipment because this shipment is already receiving. But if you recently make a shipment and send the labels to your supplier and your supplier has not sent the inventory out, then your shipment will be in working status and you can just change anything into that shipment like change the name, change the box dimension, box weight or even box configuration. So let's assume for now that this shipment is in working condition and we have just recently made this. So if you want to change something in that, we need to click on the name of shipment and after clicking here we will be able to see all of those stages. You can see that shipping created, in transit, delivered, check in and receiving. So that means I create the shipment and then when my supplier ship the product then it will be in transit and then when the inventory will be delivered to the port it will be in delivered condition and then when Amazon receives it will be in check in and then after it will sort out all of those boxes. So remember we can only change the information between the first and the second step. So if your shipment is in between these steps so you can just change anything and to change that you need to click on this create it using send to Amazon view. So if you click on this view, so in that view, you can just change anything. So here in this view, I can see all of that information which I have put while creating the shipping plan. You can see step number 1, 2, 3 and 4. So for example, my shipment is in working condition and I need to change the carton dimension. So for that, I can see on the step number 1, there is the carton information like 35 boxes and 1 SKU and 700 units. So if I click on the view button of this step, so I can see all of that information here. So you can see that I am unable to edit that information here because my shipment has already received but if your shipment is in working condition and your supplier hasn't shipped yet then you'll be able to edit this and when you click on this you'll be able to see the pencil icon here. So by clicking on that icon you'll be able to change anything about the carton like carton dimensions, carton weight and number of units in one carton. So if you want to change anything about your product into your shipping plan after creating that you can just change it by that way. So that's it for today guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well, so you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video, till then take care, bye.